In this video, we'll be covering the derivative of exponential functions. There's, so there are certain rules for when you're deriving an exponential function. The first one you can see there is when you differentiate uh, e to the power of x, it remains as e to the power of x. If you have e to the power of something fx, such as 2x, then when you derive it, the differentiation of the power comes out the front, but the power remains the same. So if in the example there, you can see y equals e to the power of 2x. The differentiation of 2x is 2, so 2 comes out the front as the coefficient, and then e to x remains the same. Now if we have something like y equals ax, where a is some sort of base, and we differentiate that, we have ax, the natural log of the base. So for example, when we had 3x, we differentiate that, we get 3x natural log 3. We'll now jump into answering some questions. And the first one is differentiate e to the power of 5x. So as I mentioned before, if we have 5x over here and we differentiate that, we get 5. So when we go to differentiate this, that 5 comes out the front, and then we're left with e to the power of 5x. So you differentiate the top, it comes out the front as the coefficient, and you're left with e to the power of 5x. All right, next we have a more complex one. We're going to have to use the product rule here because we have x to the power of 3 and then e to the power of 5x. So I'll label this as my u and this is my v. u equals x cubed, v equals e to the power of 5x. So du dx becomes 3x squared and dv dx becomes 5e 5x. Like that. Now remember, we need to cross multiply essentially here because dy dx equals u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So x to the power of 3 multiplied by 5e to the power of 5x plus our v which was e 5x times 3x squared. So we get 5e 3, 5, sorry, x to the power of 3, e to the power of 5x, plus 3x squared, e to the power of 5x. We can now bring out our common factors, which in our case will be x squared, as well as our e to the 5x, and then we're left with x, sorry, 5x, plus 3. All right, next we have a word problem. The population of a city is given by p equals 24,000 e to the power of 0 0.038 t, where t is time in years. So for this first one, we know we have p equals 24,000 e to the power of 0.038t, and we're going to say let t equal 5. So p is going to be 24,000 e to the power of 0 0.038 times 5, and that comes out as 29,627. So after five years, the population is 29,627. Now we need to find the average rate of change in population between the first and the fifth years. So we already have the population on year five, so let's find the population for year one. So I'm gonna say P first, all right? And that's gonna be 24,000 e to the power of 0 0.038 times one. And that comes out as 25,449. Now it's good to write these in kind of coordinate form so we know uh, one is going to have a 25,449 and our five will be 29,627. Now we do this because remember to find the average rate of change 
it's m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And in this case, here's our x1, y1, x2, y2. So we can substitute these in. And that's 1,045 people per year. Now the next question asks us to find the rate of change in population after five years. This involves differentiation. So remember P equals 24,500 E to the power of 0.038 T. So we need to now differentiate this. So dp dt will be 24,500 multiplied by the differentiation of the top, which is 0 0.038, and then e to the power. So this comes out as 931e 0.038t. Now, if we wanted to find it after five years, the same thing, we say let t equal five. So 931e, 0.038, multiplied by five. And that comes out as 1,126 people per year. To end the video, we'll do a quick recap. Remember, if you have just, you're trying to differentiate ex, it remains as ex. Now when you differentiate an e to the power of something else such as 2x, you differentiate your function first, so you differentiate 2x to get 2, it comes out the front as a coefficient, and then you're left with e to the power of 2x. So again, the power remains the same. Now when you're differentiating a different base, such as 3x, 3x, when you differentiate it, you get 3x, natural log 3.